All right, so in this video, we are going to cover how I invest in cryptocurrency. This is something a lot of people have been talking about investing in lately going into the year 2018. Now, the first thing I want to clarify is Bitcoin is not the only thing you can invest in when people talk about cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency. Yes, you can invest in Bitcoin, but you can also invest in any other type of cryptocurrency that exists on the cryptocurrency exchange of your choosing. Now, some disclaimers here first. I may reference and talk about certain cryptocurrencies in this video and how much I may invest or not at a time, but that does not mean this is a word for word guide on how to make money. I'm not responsible for your losses or gains after watching this video. I'm not going to tell you how much to invest and what to invest in. If you do want me to help you, then contact me and I will absolutely take the time to help you in more detail, give you advice or whatever else to the best of my ability. I am not a professional at all this, but I know enough now that I make money the way that works for me from cryptocurrency trading. As such, some of the things I say may not even make sense to a financial advisor or someone that lives off of trading. And it may just all be a coincidence that everything works in my favor with how I do things. But the point is, it works and I want to share what I know with you to hopefully have the same results. The goal of this video is to show you in a very crude manner how to get started investing and yes, some of the ways I invest during fluctuations of volatile cryptocurrencies that may go up and down quite often. Cryptocurrency investing is no different than the stock market or even gambling depending on how you approach everything. Call it what you want, there is risk like anything else, but there can also be plenty of reward if done correctly. I have been investing in cryptocurrency since mid-December 2017. Today is January 7, 2018. And I have easily more than doubled, almost tripled now, my initial cryptocurrency investments of a few thousand dollars since then. In some cases, I have some of my investments sitting and growing. And in other cases, like this past Thursday night, I was investing in a cryptocurrency that was steadily dipping a bit, then growing a lot repeatedly throughout the night. And I was capitalizing on that and made some very quick and very easy money. Again, your investment amount doesn't matter. The more you invest, the more risk, but if you do it right, more reward as well. Also, your involvement in managing your money in cryptocurrencies makes a big difference. If you don't have constant access to your smartphone or computer throughout your day, then you should consider longer term crypto trading. But like in my case, last Thursday night, I was actually watching TV and had my laptop on my coffee table in front of me displaying the graph of a cryptocurrency I had money invested in. And as it started growing, because I know what to look for now, I knew I should take action. So in some cases you can even multitask and simply glance over at what you want to trade in and it may just be the right time to make money right then and there. The final thing here as you watch this video, all I ask is that when you make your accounts on the websites I mentioned, you please use the referral links that will be displayed within this video as annotations in this video, in the video description, or even ask me and I'll send it to you if it makes it easier for you to sign up. This is the way I would appreciate that you thank me for taking the time to make this video. That's all I ask. It's just a referral link you use and everything else for sign up is the same. No extra hassle for you. Thank you. Now let's begin from scratch. We are going to go through the process of getting started investing in cryptocurrency. We are going to sign up to two websites. The first website we will sign up to is Coinbase. Then from there, we will go through signing up for a cryptocurrency exchange called Binance. I use Coinbase to make my real money investment into the cryptocurrencies they currently support, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. They allow the use of a credit card or linking your bank account to make deposits. Credit card deposits, since they go through as transactions on your credit card bill are almost instant, while bank withdrawals may take four to seven days, depending on several factors. Specifically on Binance, Ethereum is good to start investing with at the moment since it is not worth thousands of dollars like Bitcoin is. In my opinion, it's just easier to invest smaller amounts or a few thousand dollars into ETH, which is the acronym for Ethereum, by the way, and go from there. So you have some ETH in your Coinbase wallet, and now we want to withdraw that from Coinbase and deposit it into Binance. Let's go to the wallet on Coinbase and start that process. Transferring cryptocurrency from your crypto wallet or exchange to another needs to be done very carefully. If you copy and paste the wrong address for transferring, you may quite literally just lose your cryptocurrency and therefore your money is lost forever. On Coinbase, we want to click the send button and that will prompt us for the information we need to input to transfer your cryptocurrency to Binance for this example. 
So let's go over to Binance and retrieve our deposit address for the cryptocurrency we'll be adding to the Binance wallet from Coinbase. So if we are transferring ETH from Coinbase, we go to accounts, then click the send button for ETH, go over to Binance and retrieve the ETH deposit address, copy and paste that into the text box on Coinbase for the send to address, fill in everything else and send. You're done as far as initiating the send process. This is a process that may sometimes be instant or take some time depending on how busy things may be. For Coinbase, they specifically send you emails confirming your transactions and other things have been initiated, processed, completed, and so forth. You can always look out for those emails or if you're sensitive on timing, you can simply refresh your balance on the website you're sending the cryptocurrency to, like Binance in this case and it will show up under your ETH balance as soon as it's completed transferring. Once your transfer is completed on Binance, you now have your ETH amount to use for investing in other cryptocurrencies. Let's go through how to invest in something on Binance. This is all very similar to stock investment trading at this point. If you know how to read graphs from the stock market and setting up buy and sell orders, limits, stop limits, and all of that, then you absolutely know how to do things on here with all that. I will go through the general process I take right now for an example cryptocurrency I do invest in currently and it's actually the cryptocurrency I was making money on last Thursday night. It's called Tron and the acronym for it is TRX. So if I try and go back to the Thursday night section of the candlestick graph for TRX, we should be able to see the overall rise of it from that night with the small dips where I kept pumping in buy orders then selling again on the next rise. So I did this a few times and we can see here, here, and here that those were the moments that I noticed I should be putting in buy orders. Now, how do I know when to buy and when to sell in this scenario? Well, I've learned recently that I can use the MA lines to tell me what to do. This is the part where it may just be a coincidence or these lines are meant for this, as I said in my disclaimer, but the way I use them obviously works for me and I make money like this. So to activate the lines, we go to the indicator button up here above the graph and just click MA. I use these lines to see when they cross and from there, within the next minute or two of graph changes, I see what direction they take from each other. To the left of the same area where the indicator button is, I set the time interval of the candlesticks to 1M, which refers to one minute. This makes it easier to see changes as soon as possible. If you have it on any higher time setting, you'll obviously have that much more delay in seeing what the lines are doing. So I just watch these lines and you can do the same on all cryptocurrencies. And once they cross, if this line in my case is above this other line, then that means the price of the crypto will be increasing now and you're making money off of your buy order that you can now initiate. You can be a little more risky and just buy as soon as they cross or be more cautious and wait as long as you're comfortable with to see how much they move from each other post crossing. I usually wait until the minute after they cross to make a decision. If the first line is below the second line, then that means the price of the cryptocurrency is dropping or continuing to drop and you shouldn't buy. Or if you've already bought and don't want to be stuck having to wait for it to go back to the price you bought at, then you want to sell as soon as possible so you don't continue to lose more money. You can always hold on to your buy order as long as you want. If it's a low price that you bought in at, then it's inevitable that it will return to that price at some point or some day. But if you bought in at an unusually high peak of the cryptocurrency, then it depends how volatile it is, if it will ever return to that point. That's pretty much it. You now know how to invest your money into the big cryptocurrencies, then how to transfer them to other exchanges, and then how to invest it, which is all similar to stock market trading. Cryptocurrency investing is not something you shouldn't share with your friends and family. As more people invest in cryptocurrency, the prices will always grow more and more. In some cases, what is referred to as pumping and dumping, you can even invest in an organized way into certain cryptocurrencies as a group, and that will inflate the price of it, which would allow everyone involved in the pump to sell for profit typically almost immediately, which then results in a dump. Thanks for watching. Again, feel free to contact me if you need any help. I'm absolutely willing and able to help you and good luck with your investments.